Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how to install Python on Windows and as always we are going to go very basic step by step and we will see how to check if Python is already installed. Then we will download Python and install Python. We will also validate if Python is installed correctly and properly and finally we will see how to uninstall Python. And I will also be uh, telling you some useful tips during this session. So let's get started and step number one is check if Python is already installed. So I will go to my windows and I will go to the command line. So I will search for CMD and go to my windows command prompt and here I will run the command python space hyphen hyphen version and say enter and in case you are getting some python version that means python is already installed but in my case python is not recognized so it means it is not installed so here I will also write down this the command is python space hyphen hyphen version and all these on commands and notes will be available in the note section of this video let me highlight this command so this is what you will check and then the next step is we have to download and install python so step number two will be download python so for that we will go to our browser and go to google and say download Python and it will take you to this uh, website Python org downloads so go here and here you can see the you will get this download the latest version for Windows now this will auto detect your operating system in case I run this uh, command or I run this I go to this location on my Mac it will show me for Mac but it is showing me for Windows because I am on Windows so I will download the latest version which is 3.7.0 as of my time and you can also see the earlier releases here and you can download whatever is the latest version at your time so I will I will click here and it will download the python exe and let me go to the folder where it is downloaded and here I will double click on this exe and it will start the python installation process so let me just go back here and say run and yes so this will start this python installation now here you can click on this install now which will install python to this location c users administrator app data local programs and python also if you want uh, you can select a custom location and make sure that you select this at python 3.7 to path i will also show you manually how to do this but make sure that you do this so that python is added to our environment path variable and let me show you how to do custom installation so I will select custom and here you can select everything and say next and here we get an option to select our path so what I'm going to do is I will use my C and program files x86 and here I will create a folder called python and here I'm going to install python so I will say browse here and go to this PC then go to my C directory C drive and then here go to program files x86 also in case you select program files I have experienced that even if you select program files it goes into program files x86 so I'm selecting this one and I will select my python folder that I just created and say ok and here make sure that you select add python to environment variables and say install so this will start installing python and also let me show you the folder where it is getting installed so this is the folder and you can see all these folders and files are getting added here so all this is getting added here so let me just wait for this installation to get completed and let me also write down the step here step number three is install python so yes now this is done and you will get a link for online tutorial documentation what's new and you can do that and also you get this option disable path length limit uh, so you can select this just in case it limits you for the path length and say close now if i go to my command line and say python space 
hyphen hyphen version you can see it is still not recognizing so that means I will have to start a new session because it is still taking the old session so I will exit from here and open a new command line and now I will say python space hyphen hyphen version and you can see I am getting the python version now just in case if you are not getting then you have to make sure that python is added to your environment path variable and let me show you how to do that and let me also write down the step here add python to path environment variable and this is if not already added so in case you have already selected uh, to add to environment variable during installation it should be done but just for the sake of people who might face this issue I am showing you what you have to do is you have to go to your you can go to your my computer right click or this PC uh, right click and go to properties and then go to advanced system settings and here you will find an option for environment variables go here and then search for path environment variables and click on edit and here you should add your location wherever your python is so for that what you have to do is let me just show you in my case this is the location so you have to add this location into this environment variables and also add the scripts location so this C program files x86 python scripts or whatever location is there on your system add it here now in case you are not getting this kind of a view and you are getting a single text view then you can go to the end give a semicolon and then add the paths so you can do like that and here uh, in my case it must have added somewhere because it should have added automatically so here let me just cancel this and it must have added here let me just check this uh, yes so you can see it has added here C program files x86 python scripts and C program files x86 python so make sure that this is present here otherwise you can add it manually as well so this is what you have to do and now if you do this you can um, access python from anywhere on your system if you do not do this then you will have to go to this folder python folder or scripts folder to access python or whatever python programs are installed here but now because it is added to our environment I can access python from anywhere and also check the pip version say pip space hyphen hyphen version so pip is the installation package manager package manager for python and this should get installed by default with python now just in case you are having any issues in getting pip you can also go to this location I will say install pip and here you will get this documentation install pip you can go here and here you can download this get pip.py and then run python get pip py so this might happen this used to happen in earlier versions of python which was before python 2.7 and before python 3.5 but now pip should get installed automatically so now you can check with these commands step number five is check if python and pip are installed by using the command python space hyphen hyphen version and then also you can run pip space hyphen hyphen version so this is hyphen hyphen version so also uh, let me just see it should take the shorter form as well if I say python space hyphen v uh, so python space hyphen v is not working so let me just exit from here or press control D so we have to use control Z yes so I am out let me say CLS and if I say Python here it goes me takes me to the Python uh, command line and here I can say anything like 2 plus 4 it gives me the answer I will come out control Z and come out of here so this means python is now installed successfully so we have done 
uh, all these steps we have also validated now let me also show you how to uninstall or repair python so this might uh, you might need this in case you have any issues with python you might have to reinstall it and before that you have to uninstall and then you might also want to uh, repair any broken libraries so for that what you can do is go back to your installation exe file wherever it is so this is what we downloaded if you now double click it this time if you run this it will open this uh, window where you will get all the options modify repair and uninstall so in case you want to modify something you want to add or remove some individual features you can click here in case there is some problem you can click on repair and it will repair your installation and if you want to uninstall you can click on uninstall and it will start uninstalling so once you will click here you will see all the python files will get deleted from here so you can see as i am uninstalling everything is getting deleted from here and you will can ensure everything is deleted from here and also if you go to your add and remove programs on windows so you can go to control panel and then go to add and remove programs or you can directly go here and then if you search for python you should not get python python launcher will be there which is okay but you will not get any python program here so this is how you can also uninstall python so i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching